All right, Math 141, this is the practice test for the final. And we are going to solve these equations. And uh, so I notice on this first one, I have this base of 3. So I'm going to rewrite this as a log base 3. So a log base 3 of 80 is equal to that exponent, of 2t. That's just a number. I can evaluate that uh, on my calculator using that change of base formula, you know, natural log of 80 divided by natural log of 3. Or I could do log base 10, same thing. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 to get t all alone. So it's going to be um, negative 1 half of that. And grab my calculator, evaluate that, and it looks like t is about, uh, plug it in, one point, negative 1.994. So there's that one. All right, I'm going to evaluate this one. I notice I have this log statement, base 6, but I also have this times 3. So I'm going to deal with that first. So divide both sides by 3 to get rid of that. So now I have log base 6 of x minus 3 is equal to 13 thirds. Next thing I see, I have a base 6. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 to that power. So 6 to the power of the answer, 13 thirds, is equal to x minus 3. Uh, next thing, I'm just going to add 3 to both sides, get x all alone. So 6 to the 13 thirds plus 3 is equal to x. Do that on my calculator. Uh, 6 to the power of, put that um, exponent in parentheses, close off the parentheses, add 3. 2, 5, uh, no, no, 2, 3. 57.988. There's that answer. Last one. I have these three natural log statements. So I'm going to condense them. So I'm going to make this into a single natural log statement of these multiplied together. Equals natural log of 3x plus 2. Uh, now I have natural log on both sides. I could go e to the power of both sides, or I could just say they're both natural logs, so the natural logs don't matter. Basically, I have this, x minus 2 times x plus 3 equals 3x three plus 2. And if I want to solve this quadratic now, I'm going to multiply this out. So multiply this out, I get uh, x squared plus x minus 6 equals 3x three plus 2. Subtract 3x, subtract 2. Um, x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. This factors to x minus 4 times x plus 2 equals 0. So according to this quadratic, x could be 4 or negative 2. But i got to check them both because um, I, I can't go natural log of negative number and get a, get a, re get a real. So I notice if I plug in negative 2, I'll be going natural log of a negative number. Throw that out. The 4 works. So x must be 4.